The Taramp Smart 3 was tested a few times here on my channel. One time a normal dyno test, another time at some low impedance loads. And as you can see by the views here, these amps are really popular. People really want to see them. So just recently, Tar Amps released a new version of the Smart 3 called the Smart 3 Base. As you can see here on Amazon, it goes for $380. The amp shown today was sent to me by Tar Amps. But as you guys know, I'm going to show you the numbers and give you my professional opinion, no matter if the amp is sent to me or not. You can see here the ratings, 3,000 watts from 1 ohm down to half an ohm, and then at 4 ohms rated 1,700 watts RMS. And according to the best application slash performance guide on the Tar Amp site, this amp is recommended for subwoofers. So let's check it out. Here it is. No frills at all. You get the amp in a box. It's wrapped up in some plastic. You get you a Tar Amp sticker. I don't recommend sticking this on your car unless you want your car broken into. And then here is the warranty card as well. It is in English and Portuguese, whatever's your favorite language to read. And the amp is wrapped in plastic again. And also you get this clip indicator that comes with a lot of the Tar Amps amplifiers. It has a telephone style connector. And then we have some plastic here to protect the pretty picture on the Tar Amps, which shows, looks like a JL Audio subwoofer. Don't tell JL Audio about that. On one end of the amplifier, you can see here the RCA jacks, and yeah, they've done it again. So they have one input, one output, gain control, 0.2 to 4 volts. They have a high pass from 8 hertz to 30 hertz, low pass 200 hertz to 60, and then for the bass boost, they have a variable 35 to 60 hertz as well as a variable boost, which is nice. There's the monitor port for the remote clip indicator, and the speaker output, which is eight gauge and only has a single output. On the other side, we have a smart cooler or also known as a fan. <laughs> and then in the middle, we have the power and ground and remote terminals. And on the right side, we have another smart cooler, AKA fan. Now, the one thing you'll notice about these amps, we begged and pleaded for 1.0 inputs. They gave us 1.0, but they didn't give us the oversized 1.0. So you cannot fit in most of the dual input adapters. As far as dimensions go, 9.42 inches by 9.37 millimeter equivalents are there. It's virtually a square. For the thickness, it's a little thicker than most amps, 2.8 inches or 71 millimeters. Now we're going to fire up the good old SMD Demore Engineering Amplifier Dyno 81 to find out the RMS power output of this amplifier. Before we do that, make sure you smash thumbs up. Check the video description for links to Wilson Audio merch so you can be cool like Big Daddy D. First up, 4 ohms, mono, rated 1,700 watts, 14.4. Let's see what we get here. Certified up to 1% THD. Oh, we're a little shy. 1665, 14.64. Now we'll retry this test here, uncertified, which takes us up to the clipping point. See if we can get that 1,700 watts. Oh, so close. 1673. We'll give that a pass. That's close enough. Dynamic, sends a 40 hertz burst tone into the amp. And yeah, still a little shy, but so close. 1672 watts at 14 and a half. Oop, jumped a little bit more. 1676 at 14 and a half. Now what about that efficiency? 93.7, almost 94% at four ohms. That's what I'm talking about. Two ohms. Rated 3,000 watts at 14.4. Let's try it out and see what we get. 2790 at 14.22. So we're a little bit shy of the 3K, but we're also a little bit shy of the 14.4. So that's pretty close. Let's try uncertified up to clipping and see if we can get that 3K. And not quite there. 2806, 14.16. You'd never hear the difference between the couple hundred watts, but we wish, you know, the numbers would match up. Dynamic, however, we did get the 3,000 watts. And check out the voltage dead on, 14.44. And 3,124 watts. What about the efficiency at 2 ohms? 77.6%. So we dropped quite a bit from the 4 ohm load. 
Next up, we'll try the one ohm test. The amp is again rated 3000 watts from one ohm down to half an ohm. Actually, two ohms down to half an ohm. And check this out, 3759 watts at 14.16. Yeah, boy. That'll make you stand up and cheer. Uncertified up to clipping at one ohm, 3879 watts, almost 3900 watts out of a 3K. That is uh, impressive. Dynamic, let's send the burst tone into the amp and see if it's got that dynamic headroom. And yes, look at that. Look at it at the very end here, jumping up. Four, oh, over 5K, 5409. We got some uh, magic going on inside this little amp. Not sure what's up with that, but 5400 watts. The efficiency is actually a little better at 81%. That's very odd, but we'll just go with it. Results, I would say this is a smart value. Here are the results you can see here on the Amp Dyno form. You will notice I blanked out two of the options at the end because if you stay tuned to the very end of the test, I will show the 0.8 and the half ohm test. Now, a lot of you want to know, do it bump dough. Here we have the Taramp Smart 3 base. Already done the test, have it hooked up to something a little different today. We're gonna to try it on the quad box. Let's see how it sounds to a little bass, I love you too. All right, this one is a little loud. Neighbors are probably not gonna like me. <laughs> Let's see, why does that light look so yellow? Let's try it out and see what we get here with the quad box and the woofer test. Here we go. That was insane. <laughs> Okay, now since we've successfully bumped it, let's find out what's inside. Probably amp guts and peanuts. Take off the, uh, oh yeah, before we do that, everybody needs one of these. Check the video description for this awesome little screwdriver kit that comes with all the bits you need, including the one to get into the bottom of this amp. It was a odd little torque size, but um, there's only four screws on the bottom. Take the four off. You lift up the impan. If you're real careful, you won't break the seal. <laughs> Not that it matters anyway. However, here is the inside of the amp is typical with tar amps and their full bridge design. They don't have many components inside. 
3,300 microfarad, 160 volt for the rail caps, 4,700 microfarad, 25 volts for the input filtering. Here's a Smart 3 versus a Smart 3 base. What I'll notice here is it looks to be different windings on the Smart 3 base, but I don't know for sure. It's just different colors, not really sure about that. And obviously there's a different crossover on the Smart 3 base, but overall the amps are virtually identical. Now let's check out the good stuff. First off, watts per dollar. Amplifier provides a lot of power per dollar. Near constant power from two ohms all the way down as low as you want to go. The efficiency at four ohms is very high. Has a variable subsonic filter. 1O power inputs, also a remote clip indicator, and a compact size. Now, what about the things that could be better? Well, the oversized 1O will not fit, so that's a biggie. Misrated power at 4 and 2 ohms. I wish it had two RCA ins, two RCA outs. Wish it had a remote base level control. 24 dB per octave crossovers. It only has a single speaker output. It would be nice to have dual. And it's the same look of other tar amps, so nothing really special about this one. Overall, I really like this amp. In addition to liking the other Smart 3 that came out before this, they're just a tremendous value. Again, this was sent to me by tar amps, but this is not a sponsored video. I tell you guys what I think, and based on how these performed and how earlier models performed, I think this is an excellent value. So thanks as always for watching. Until next time, Big D, I'm out of here. Staying up, I'm wildin' out, I'm leaning in, I'm leaning in. All right, Torrent Smart 3, we're gonna try point eight. We'll do certified and dynamic. We'll skip uncertified. It's rated to do 3,000 watts all the way from two ohms down to half an ohm. So we're gonna try point eight, then we'll drop it down to point five. Here we go, point eight, 40 hertz. Thirty-five fifty-seven at fourteen point three. Here we go, dynamic burst forty hertz. Fifty four sixteen at fourteen point five volts. Now we're gonna try the brutal test for the Smart Three base by Tar Amps, the half ohm certified test. And to me, it's amazing any amp can do this. This is not mimicking a speaker load at half an ohm. This is a resistive load, which means it has zero impedance rise. It stays half an ohm the whole time. This is just an insane load on an amplifier. Now, the way the Smart 3 before this one worked was it regulated the current so that it would not blow up the amplifier. I'm hoping they did the same thing with this one. It's just supposed to be a base optimized amp. So let's try it here. 40 hertz, half an ohm certified, up to 1% THD. All right, 3507, 14.26. 40 Hertz, dynamic half an ohm, tar amp smart three base. Woohoo! Seventy-eight fifty-five at fourteen point five six. Wow.